It's important to understand some of the terminology when we're moving into algebraic um, expressions and equations. And um, this is probably one of the most important parts of uh, the lesson here. So if we have an equation, <coughs> or actually in this case, it's an expression, and I'll explain that in a second. Um, if we have an expression like the one on, on the board here, we can look at this expression as a series of terms where each of these is a term. So 5x is its own term, x squared is a term, and 3 is a term. And that's how we, uh, that's how we talk about it. Now, within each term, if I rewrite it, let's take 5x. We have pieces of the term. The 5 is the coefficient. And x is the variable. All terms have uh, a variable, or sometimes they have a variable, sometimes they don't have a variable, like in the case of 3. 3 is just a constant number. x squared actually has an exponent. The, the 2 is an exponent. So you can see that terms can have coefficients, variables, and exponents, and that's what comprises a term. Another thing to note here that's equally as important is that if I rewrite this, exp this expression, 5x plus x squared minus 3, you'll see that the minus 3, I can do what they call ping pong and say it's actually plus negative 3. And the reason why I might do that is so that I don't lose that negative sign when I start doing more complicated operations. That's called ping pong, where you take the minus sign, you make it into a plus, and then you just carry the negative sign over, because subtraction is just adding a negative number. 